It is a common understanding that oil and water do not mix. But many operators of lubrication and hydraulic equipment are unaware of the damage water contamination may be causing to their systems. This is because even a small amount of water and oil can significantly reduce the lifespan of their oil, along with critical items such as oil pumps and other lube and hydraulic components. As highlighted in this video, water contamination may ingress into a lubrication and hydraulic oil reservoir via various sources, not limited to leaks in water-cooled heat exchangers or even ambient humidity. If humidity is high enough, water droplets may condense on the walls of lubrication and hydraulic oil reservoirs contaminating the oil. While water contamination from any source in only the few hundred parts per million can turn oil milky or cloudy through oil water emulsification. This in turn can cause gradual corrosion in the lubrication or hydraulic system resulting in excessive particulate contamination of the oil. To compound the issue, water molecules can bond with natural sulfur compounds in lubrication and hydraulic oils, creating sulfuric acid and further exacerbating corrosion. Dissolved hydrogen atoms can also raise the likelihood of hydrogen embrittlement and cause fracture in critical sliding surfaces such as gears and bearings, ultimately leading to premature failure and significant and costly damage to lubrication and hydraulic systems. Therefore, reducing and maintaining water levels below the oil's parts per million free water saturation point is essential in maximizing lube and hydraulic equipment reliability which in turn provides significant cost savings for the operator through reductions in forced equipment downtime. Because it only takes water contamination in the few hundred parts per million to cause problems, just replacing water contaminated oil may be costly and environmentally unfriendly since it may require multiple oil changes and flushings of the lube and hydraulic system to ensure all water contamination has been removed. In addition, operators of lube and hydraulic systems may not even be aware that small amounts of dissolved water may be precipitating out as free water as their oil cools while passing through heat exchangers or even in oil reservoirs as the oil ambiently and cyclically cools during system downtimes. MSC Filtration Technologies, located in Enfield, Connecticut, and founded in 1962, provides innovative and reliable solutions to reduce lube and hydraulic oil contamination. We take pride in offering innovative, effective, and simple solutions to maximize the reliability of our customers' systems. The Oil Dry Vacuum Oil Dehydrator and Purifier, offered by MSC, provides an effortless, automatic, and efficient solution for eliminating particulate contamination, as well as unlimited amounts of free, emulsified, dissolved water and dissolved gases from oil without the use of expensive water absorbing filters. This autonomous system is user friendly and can be used as a kidney loop in the lube and hydraulic system, whether it is online or offline. Once connected, it requires very little operator involvement and necessitates only minimal regular maintenance or consumables. The Oil Dry Vacuum line of dehydrators also perfectly complements MSC Filtration Technologies exclusive line of 110 volt Phoenix membrane oil dehydrator carts, which are ideal for use on small or difficult to reach medium sized oil reservoirs such as gearboxes or lube and hydraulic systems. The Oil Dry Vacuum Oil Dehydrator operates autonomously. 
and requires very little operator attention. Its main components shown here include a high quality inlet oil gear pump, a low watt density inline oil heater, a water removing vacuum tower with packed bed, a low maintenance claw style water removing vacuum pump, a high quality outlet oil gear pump, and a filter for the removal of particulate. The oil purification process begins by connecting the oil dry to the customer's oil reservoir and powering it up. The oil dry's PLC controller then takes over the process, minimizing any operator involvement afterwards. First, the inlet oil pump pulls oil out of the customer's oil reservoir and through a low watt density oil heater. The oil heater's purpose is to speed up water removal in the vacuum tower. The adjustable low watt density heating element is typically set to only turn on if the oil temperature in the reservoir drops below 120 degrees Fahrenheit and when there is constant oil flow indicated through the heater. It is worth noting that this specific combination of low temperature, low watt density, constant oil flow, and as shown later, low tower vacuum, eliminates the possibility of coking or burning of the oil and creates significantly less wear and stress on the oil compared to other high temperature and high tower vacuum dehydrators available on the market today. Next, oil is pumped into the oil dry's vacuum tower, where it pours over a stainless porous packed bed that creates a porous, high surface area, thin film of constantly flowing warm oil, which then gravity drains through the packed bed and collects at the bottom of the vacuum tower, where it is recirculated back to the reservoir by the outlet pump. Oil level in the bottom of the vacuum tower is controlled by a level controller, the PLC, and a variable frequency drive, which speeds up and slows down the outlet pump as needed. This process of level control automatically and without operator involvement compensates for changing oil viscosities. And unlike older oil dehydrator designs, reduces the possibility of high and low tower nuisance trips or oil foaming, caused by too much or too little oil entering the vacuum tower at once. Next, a low maintenance, high durable claw style vacuum pump pulls filtered atmospheric sweep air into the vacuum tower whose flow once restricted creates a vacuum of up to 18 to 20 inches in the tower. Sweep air under vacuum then passes across the porous packed bed in a counter current flow, allowing the process of water evaporation and removal to begin. And it's this combination of high porous packed bed surface area, a warm thin film of constant flowing oil, and low air pressure created by the vacuum in the vacuum tower, which creates the perfect environment for rapid water evaporation and dehydration out of the oil. Once water dehydrates out of the oil, it is absorbed by the dry sweep air being pulled through the vacuum tower, while oil remains in the vacuum tower due to its higher evaporation temperature than water. Once water vapor is extracted by the dry sweep air, it is expelled to atmosphere by the vacuum pump. Simply put, the oil dry is your ultimate solution for oil dehydration and is offered in flow rates from 5 GPM to 20 GPM, depending on oil reservoir volume and level of water ingression. Designed with durability and functionality in mind, the oil dry features a powder coated corrosion resistant finish. While its front facing pressure and vacuum gauges are large and easy to read. In addition, the Allen Bradley high quality PLC display, along with its run and operating lights, 
provide operators with clear and easy to see operating information at a glance. Since water contamination is obviously a critical concern, the oil dry is equipped with a standard water saturation sensor, which provides operators with an accurate level of water saturation on the PLC display. For advanced monitoring, the oil dry may be supplied with an optional laser particle counter. This allows operators to trend the oil's ISO 4406 particulate cleanliness level in real time as well. To learn more about the ISO 4406 cleanliness level, please watch our other video previewed in a clip shown here, detailing the importance of maintaining not just low water, but also low particulate levels in your lube and hydraulic oil. Maintenance for the oil dry is simple. It only requires a vacuum pump gearbox oil change shown here once a year, indicated and alarmed by the Allen Bradley PLC controller. The particulate filter change is as needed, signaled by the filter DP indicator gauge and the controller's alarm. Both tasks can be easily accomplished with an adjustable wrench and require minimal downtime. In summary, the oil dry stands out as one of the most advanced, user-friendly, and durable oil dehydrators available on the market today. It seamlessly complements MSC Filtration Technologies' other lines of lube and hydraulic purification equipment. Together, they provide a comprehensive range of high-quality products designed to increase productivity and lube and hydraulic equipment reliability. To learn more about MSC Filtration Technologies' other lines of lube and hydraulic purification equipment, or to inquire about purchasing or renting the Oil Dry Oil Dehydrator, please visit our website at www.mscfiltertech.com. And thank you for watching.